student here interesting subject is presented in front of you this topic will amaze you inspire you to learn one by one point by point because this these are the lovely game that you love every day so before exploring the point of each game i want to ask some question please tell me that which game you most like to play yes so you have different answer second question is do you know the history of the game that you like to play for suppose means my question is you like to play cricket so do you know the basic history of cricket how it was evolved over the year what is the commencement of the cricket who are the people who invented this game in the world so these are the basic questions and i think most of you can explain and give good answer also because some uh, things are very open and you all are very active and diligent to watch game and play game why not explore the game enjoy the game but don't forget your study and i hope you are watching my all previous videos very very interestingly and getting knowledge so let us start so today topic is about national sports so in the list first game is cricket i have taken i have put first game in cricket because most of indians love cricket love to watch cricket love to uh, spend time watching cricket right so let us start cricket is an outdoor game mostly liked by children so cricket is outdoor game out the outdoor game that is played outside of the house and it is liked by most of the children and they dream to become a good cricketer in their young age most of the children like to bats hundreds hundreds uh, runs and they uh, wish to make more and more runs and become a great and good cricketer it is played using a bat but the basic function of the cricket is it is played using a bat and a ball the basic things in cricket is bat and a ball in the big open field but one of the great things today that uh, cricket needs a big field it is the played in the between two competitor teams two teams are playing having 11 players one team consist 11 players it is played in the field having a center of the rectangular 22 yard long pitch so in this game one pitch is needed the pitch uh, 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 long edge 22 yard it is used by the batsman to take a turn while batting and attempting to get a score runs as an inning so because the field is uh, needed to a cricketer to bats and run and catch the ball so second in the list is hockey so hockey uh, the first hockey club in india came up in kolkata in 1885 and 1866 so first hockey came in india in kolkata and soon bombay and punjab followed suit so uh, later on gradually bombay and punjab become famous in cricket making its olympia debut debut means first uh, appearance in great levels uh, first famous uh, glory that is called debut at the age 9 at at the 1928 amsterdam games Indian hockey team cruised home to its first Olympia gold. So in 1928, Indian hockey team got first Olympia gold without conceding a single goal. 
the hallmark of this ruthless domination was the wizardry of Indian hockey legend Dhyan Chand. So I think everyone knows this. Uh, in 1928, Indian hockey team achieved uh, the Olympiad goal. The, uh, the glory, the credits goes to the credits go to Dhyan Chand, the legend of Indian hockey. From 1920 to 1956, the Indian hockey juggernaut won six straight Olympic gold medals. So, continuously from 1928 to 1956, Indian team uh, used to get medals, Olympic gold medals, while winning 24 consecutive matches, continuously 24 matches Indian team won. During this time, India scored 178 goals, conceding only 7 in the process. Fantastic achievements and defeat able achievements were got and developed by Indian hockey teams. Next is football. Football in India dates back to the 19th century. So, in India, uh, football can glorified, can be glorified or can be understood or identified in 19th century when the game was introduced by the British soldier. So, this game was introduced by British soldier. Although cricket is the most popular game in the country even today. So, uh, in fact, cricket is the most famous game, but um, uh, uh, football also can uh, introduced India. Football is widely celebrated in many parts of the country, especially West Bengal, Goa, Kerala and the no northeastern states. So, in some states of India, uh, uh, football has some uh, importance and it is played by. In the early days, football was played only among army teams. So, in early days, only army were playing, but gradually it is spread amongst the masses. But soon and gradually, uh, slowly it uh, comes among common people. Credit of which goes to Nagendra Prasad Sarvadhikari. Uh, because this credit goes to Na uh, Nagendra Prasad because uh, he was one of the man who uh, 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 worked hard and established certain uh, things for football. The Kolkata FC was the first club which was established in 1872. The Indian Football Association was founded in 1893. So, in these uh, uh, years, 1872 was uh, 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 very important in the history and football history. Secondly, in 1893, uh, football association was founded. So, means uh, after this foundation, uh, football got a certain position to fill it. Uh, it, uh, ha it got certain recognition to be played among and selected and professional play players should be made in football. But none of its board members was Indians. But unfortunately, the board members are not Indians. <coughs> Next important game is Kabaddi. Is a contact report. Kabaddi is a very basic game, it is a man brave game, it is a contact sport, means this game is sport has contact native to, uh, native to the Indian subcontinent. It is one of the most popular sports in India, yes, Kabaddi is one of the most famous game sports in India, played mainly among people in village. Village people play this game means anywhere in the field, on the road, uh, at home sometimes, 
people started playing kabaddi india has taken part in four asian games in kabaddi so india has taken part in four asian games in kabaddi and won gold in all of them and fortunately for a uh, uh, great pride all four uh, games uh, all the players of kabaddi won the gold medals in them four forms of kabaddi played in india there are four forms of kabaddi means different forms of kabaddi also there but in india four forms of kabaddi are played in india are amar suranjeevi hutu hutu and gamini amar is generally played in punjab means in different states different uh, uh, forms are famous <coughs> in punjab haryana the uh, the united states canada and other part of the world mostly by punjabi sportsmen suranjeevi is the most played form of kabaddi in india and the world but suranjeevi is the most famous played form not in india also but in the world this is the form used in international matches so four forms of there but uh, suranjeevi form is the most famous and international matches are played in suranjeevi generally and played in asian games and in asian games also played hutu hutu was played by men in maharashtra state but in maharashtra states uh, hutu hutu forms is played next in the list is basketball a 1936 founding member of fiba asia india has one of the asia's longest basketball traditions so india has longest history of basketball throughout its history india team indian team qualified for the fiba asia championship 24 times so indian basketball teams qualified for uh, asia cham asian championship 24 times and is placed in the top 5 in appearance in this tournament so they got all the chance in a uh, top 5 appearance further indian basketball team on three gold medals so indian basketball team achieved got victory got three medals gold medals and one silver medals at the south asian game at the south asian games indian basketball team got three one silver also team india celebrated its most recent title at the uh, twin, at the 2014 lusophonia games after they finished the tournament with a for a zero record and beat angola in the final so in the final game they beat angola next important game is volleyball volleyball is a team sport it is called team sport in which two teams of six players are separated by a net so between two uh, uh, team there is a net set up each team try to score points by grounding a ball so in the volleyball the function of the game is one team will get point when they are able to fall down a ball on rival teams so it it can be say by grounding a ball if you the team is able to ground the ball it means the team will get the points on the other teams court under organized rule there are certain rules are there in certain rules under rules if other team is able to ground the ball in other rival teams court so the team will get points it has been a part of the official program of the summer olympic games since tokyo uh, 1964 so it has summer program olympic games uh, since 
Shokyo 1964. So, it has also a long history. Next important game is Koku. Interesting game. This game mostly played by school children also. Koko is a popular tag game invented in Maharashtra, India. Koko is a game that is invented in Maharashtra, India. So, it is very proud movement for Indians that Maharashtra has invented a tag game that is called Koko. It is played by teams of 12. Uh, 12 nominated players out of 15. So, 15 players are there, but 12 nominated players play this game, of which 9 center the field who sit on their knees. So, 9 players will sit on their knees. Chasing team and, ext and 3 extra defending team and 3 extra will defending the team who try to avoid being touched by the members. Actually, three uh, extra uh, may, uh, players, members will avoid themselves, protect themselves to touch by the members of the opposing team. So, opposing team will try to touch the members, so they have to protect, avoid themselves to being touched by the other members. It is one of the two most popular traditional tag games in Indian subcontinent. It is the one of the most famous traditional tag game in India. The other being Kabaddi, the sport is widely played across South Asia. Uh, it is not played in India only, but it also played in South Asia and has a strong presence in South Africa and England. And it also has been played in South Africa and England. So, uh, Kho Kho is the last game in my list. Lots of games in India. But some famous games have been explained in front of you. So, I guess, I hope, if you watch my this video, uh, if you watch this video two, three times, so you can get basic idea of games. Basic a uh, knowledge of national games of India. So, homework of this game, uh, this video is, first uh, homework is you have to watch two times of this video. You watch this video two times at least. Second homework is write down all the games one by one in your notebook and write some basic rules of the game. How many players will play? Uh, what is the function of the game, what is the structure of the game and some dates related to the game. So, you should write down bullet in bullet point. So, whenever you revise this and before exams, uh, when I will say and our school will tell you to make preparation for exam, so uh, you can uh, uh, revise those pages, mention pages to uh, prepare for exam. So, I wish you have a very glad day and wonderful day. Thank you so much.